Hey guys, so we're going to show you how to cook a rack of ribs in our good. Dutch oven. This is one of our favorite ways to cook because it's really easy. Uh, it doesn't really have to be attended. And we just kind of throw it out in the yard and leave it there on the coals. And it makes the meat extra tender for us to eat. What you want to do is cut the ribs in half so they can fit in the Dutch oven even though that's not half. That's okay. And place them rack down, bone down. Okay. I forgot to mention from the beginning, you need to use an oven that's been seasoned. So this already actually has oil on it from the last time that we washed it. So to wash it and care for it, you don't ever use soap or anything abrasive. You just use like a, a paper towel or a wash rag and wash it with water. And um, then you rub it back down with olive oil or spray it with Pam. Anyway, so it's already been sprayed nonstick stuff. So we've got our rack of ribs cut in half, bone side down in the oven. And we are going to put Morton's Nature Seasoning. And we're also going to put garlic powder that I don't have. So just remember, you don't see me putting garlic powder, but when you make it, throw some garlic powder on there. It really adds an extra special touch. Okay, so next is chicken broth. We use this 32-ounce box that's really inexpensive at Aldi. It's $1.39 for all this chicken broth. Anyway, so we are going to pour it in. And sometimes you have to pour it on either side of the meat because the meat creates a little barrier in the middle, but I think this might actually go all the way around. All right, and last but not least, we're gonna add our liquid smoke. And I just get this at Walmart. Since we don't have a smoker, we use this liquid smoke instead, but we like it better because the meat's always really tender because it's cooking in this water. So I'm just gonna, I've already given one squeeze. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine squeezes, I don't measure much. And it already smells amazing. <laughs> so we're gonna put the lid on it. Jeff's already got the coals going. We're using a 12 inch, I think I already said that, we're using a 12 inch oven. We like to cook it between 350 and 375 for two and a half hours. Just check it. I mean, check it and then the, and let, let it go for the first hour and a half. Check it maybe around the first, after you, it's been going for about 90 minutes and go out and check it. If it's pulling off the bone, if it's falling off any, it's usually ready. You'll be able to tell. If you don't trust that method, then get your thermometer and make sure that the pork is 160 degrees. Pork needs to be at 160 to be done. To get to the desired temperature of 350, 375 degrees around that area, we use 24 briquettes. We do 17 on the top and seven on the bottom. And a briquette is just a piece of charcoal. So what Jeff does is he'll go out and he'll make a little pile and he'll light the charcoal and let it start to get heated up. And when it starts turning the ashy color, just like normal if you're using a charcoal grill, then you're going to get a pair of um, tongs, like metal tongs, and place them on top all around this and underneath. You're going to set it down on it. So that's the way this cooks. It's just like an oven, but it's outside. So we're going to take this outside and we will check it in 90 minutes. All right, well, it's been an hour and a half, and it's time to check the ribs. Always use one of these lifters because it is extremely hot. Oh yeah. 
getting there. All right, it got dark on us before we were ready to take them off. But let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah. See how they're just falling apart? Yep. Okay, so the ribs are out. They ended up cooking about an hour and 50 minutes. And now we're gonna put a little bit of sauce on them and just, I'm gonna leave one little area without sauce because we've got a few that don't want sauce on theirs. So we're just gonna do a little bit of sauce. And I love the sweet baby rays. It is delicious. It's sweet, a little bit tangy, good and thick. So we're gonna do it like this and we're gonna put it in the oven just for a few minutes to heat that sauce up. Maybe caramelize it on the top. Put the oven at about 425 for about 10 or 15 minutes. So we just took the ribs out of the oven with the sauce and they are just falling off the bone. And we're gonna taste them, see how they turned out. Mm. Really good. Awesome. Delicious. Ribs in the Dutch oven.